Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homestead. I wanted to give you the update for the midsize grow tent and show you what the difference is with these uh, T10 uh, white LEDs have done to actual regrowth of this trays. Because they're pretty anemic with just having the regular little LEDs up above. But it looks like they've really come back and I'm gonna show you the tray I'm gonna harvest today for our Easter Sunday. Let me grab the camera. So you can see all these trays in here. You'll notice that I've taken out a couple of these uh, tomatoes inside of here and put them into, I've kind of up potted those to be in the large tent now. And I've left the other ones in here and I've sprayed a little bit of uh, seaweed extract and uh, calcium magnesium liquid supplement on these to help keep them growing. And getting these will probably be transferred, you know, into the larger four inch pots, you know, this next weekend. But I transferred all the other ones in there and you'll see that in the large grow tent update. And you can see we've got one of our little peppers has popped up. So that's a good sign. I didn't know if those seeds were actually gonna germinate or not, because those are about a three-year-old seed that I had uh, from a couple years back. But you can see uh, the lettuce up here. This is one of the trays, and it's getting the white light coming from this direction over there. You can see it's looking a, a lot you know, better growth, as well as these trays down here have got a lot better growth. You know, they're a lot more full, and they're starting to fill out. So I'm really happy with putting those lights back in because, I mean, these trays, by next weekend, we'll be able to harvest these, at least one of these trays, and we're gonna start getting back on our normal rotation. You can see those trays down below, even those have greened up and uh, are ready to, you know, get some better. Because I've got the light, you know, coming from this direction over here, down into there, and uh, all the trays seem to have really taken off again, which makes me happy because Paul was getting kind of annoyed at me because I didn't have any lettuce for our, uh, our tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and our other dinners, we were eating pretty much exclusively kale and what we could scrounge outside. But uh, here's the tray I'm gonna harvest today for Easter. And this is that one that we had uh, already harvested once. So this is gonna be its second re uh, you know, cutting. But uh, you can see how green and, and lush and everything this, this tray really looks now. And it's really, really popped this last week with having those, uh, those bright white lights back inside the mid-sized tent. And that's just the knife that I used to harvest on, uh, on my lettuce trays, I harvest with a, uh, an older knife that we have here. And it's a chef knife, but that's one of Paula's older ones. And I use that because it gives you a better cut when you're cutting along the, uh, for regrowth. I've learned from watching uh, different videos that if you want to have a good regrowth on lettuces, you want to use a sharp bladed knife instead of scissors because scissors will tear and uh, a knife will actually give you a nice straight cut. So it makes it a little easier for the plant to uh, resume its regrowth by doing it that method. So that might be helpful for some of you. All right, well, that's kind of it for the, uh, the mid-sized tent. Well, this is Brian. Hope you're having a great Easter. I'll talk to you guys again next week. All right, bye.